quest, um, but how to, excuse me, how to build a night vision counterweight, a DIY version. I know there's a lot of aftermarket counterweights out there. Um, they can get pretty expensive, but it's a lot more simple than most people realize, and it's super effective, and you can actually custom make it and tailor it to the weight of your actual unit. So uh, what we're going to be making is this night vision counterweight right here. So um, this is actually a Microbat Systems uh, retention system, but we'll also make the counterweight as well as the retention for that counterweight. So there's a few things that you're going to need. So one of the things that you're going to need, you got some Velcro, all right? A pair of handy dandy scissors. Your weights. Now for your weights, you can use any kind of uh, like like fishing lead weights. Um, you can use like I got some old nuts here. Uh, whatever you want. A good thing to do is also try to see the weight of your system and then the amount of counterweights that you'll need to be able to. Uh, um, you know, get make sure that it's, it's properly balanced. If you have a really properly balanced counterweight to your night vision, it should almost feel like no strain on your neck. So having a good counterweight is going to be vital. Um, and also, if you're running like a battery pack and something like that, um, having a battery pack there is also going to be extra weight. So just kind of keep that in mind. The old school way of us running counterweights back in the day is we would actually take uh, batteries for our military radios, put Velcro on them and stick them on the back of the helmet. Um, but this is a cool, easy way to do it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a strip of tape. I got Gorilla Tape here. Um, I really like Gorilla Tape. Super, super sticky, but it also tears really nice. So I'll put that down here. All right. And then once I do that, I'm actually going to set it. And if you've got like... It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Oh my gosh, it's going to bother me. There you go. Doesn't have to be super fancy. The one thing I will could say is that whenever you're doing this, you want to make sure that at least it can it's, it's it can bend. Um, so like if you're running lead weights, do some that are like like these will actually have some sort of bend to them as far as like the joints. And the spaces in between them will allow me to actually mold it to the curved roundness of the helmet. All right, so I've got like that. All I'm going to do is like this. It doesn't have to be anything pretty. Okay, get another piece of tape. And then I can also cut off a lot of the excess edges. So something to consider. All right. Almost like you're wrapping a present. Um, so roll that down and see how I can actually kind of bend this so it actually curves to the actual uh, thing. So now it's kind of rounded. So keep adding some more tape. And then if you want to, you can get real fancy with it. Um, but this stuff is pretty super sticky. Um, and I've seen guys will take like fabric sticker and they'll wrap it around the entire thing. And then you can actually spray paint this and whatnot. Um, and then one thing that I actually forgot to mention is you're going to need some of the fuzzy Velcro as well. And I'll talk about that here in a second because you want to be able to use that fuzzy Velcro on the outside of your counterweight to work with the retention device. All right, so I'm gonna measure out the sticky Velcro. Obviously, I'm gonna to have to spray paint this because it's white. Um, but this is a super, super old school and easy way to be able to add retention to your helmet. Um, if you ever do want night vision training, just hit up our website. We do have a night vision training called the Ghost Fighter Night Vision Course. It's broken in two parts, Alpha and Bravo. For those who have actually been to our course, it is an actual crawl, rock, walk, run type of course. Um, but we do have rentals available. So if you're thinking about investing in that, I highly recommend renting before and training with night vision before you buy. So that way you can kind of see if it's worth your investment.
All right, so I've got the sticky, the sticky Velcro part. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go grab the, uh, the fuzzy Velcro part and make sure that I put it on the other side. I feel like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood with these crafts. So I've got fuzzy Velcro here. Shouldn't need a ton, just a little bit. Okay, maybe even, so I'm gonna take this off. And once I put it to the other side, you guys will start to see. Now you can do this, like I've done this this version of retention. Um, it is super, super solid. Like it does not come off. Just like the back of this Velcro thing does not wanna flip and come off. Um, but it, it keeps it very well, well retained to your helmet. Um, I've had a long time, you know, back in the day, we would be running battery packs for like PBS 31s and the Velcro would constantly come off. Um, the battery pack, thank goodness it had a cable cause it would just hang there. I'm going to stick up just like that. So anyways, I'm going to have to paint this, but I've got hook Velcro. I've got fuzz Velcro on the other side. I've got my counterweight. All right. So now what I need to do is I need to make the actual retention system. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to actually get a measure on the back of the helmet exactly how much I need. So let's take this off here. Now I can use these extra bands. You can use these for attention. You don't necessarily need them, which is kind of nice to have. Um, but you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. So I've got this. I'm going to take that and I'm going to stick it to the back of the helmet. It's, it's malleable so it can actually bend and mold a little bit to that helmet. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to measure about how much I need. So that actually should be good. So I'm actually going to take this and I'm going to cut it into a long strip. Now, if you guys get something out of this, please share with some friends. So that way they know how to do this. But stop buying expensive counterweights. You can make one for super cheap. Um, all right. So after I do this. I take my Velcro off. Obviously, I got stickiness from the adhesive. So the way that you do this, and this is something else I'll do for like cable retention as well, is I will take these uh, hook strips. Got my tape. Okay. Take this. Lay it down flat. And all I'm going to do is just going to tear it. Boom. And it'll go along the folds of the Velcro. It's not going to, if you're running duct tape, this, that's why I love this Gorilla Tape so much. It's just super nice, super easy. Look at that. But now on the other side, it's a black strip. So it doesn't stick. It's not adhesive. I've got sticky Velcro. And then I'm going to take my counterweight. And this is where I want to have the fuzzy on the outside of the counterweight. I stick that underneath. Let this kind of curl up underneath the counterweight. And now I have this. This is where the rubber band comes in. I'm going to take my rubber band. And I'm going to double it. And now that thing is rock solid. So what it does is this rubber band is actually pulling this outside Velcro retention close together. And actually pulling against that Velcro and causing it to stick really, really hard. So if I want an extra, I can take extra here. With the Team Wendy, I've got extra retention. If I wanted to have it, um, it's available. But like I was saying, guys, I know that money right now is tight for a lot of folks. So, you know, sp you got to really be careful what you're spending your money on. Um, and you can you can make your own counterweight at home. You don't have to spend your hard earned dollars um, on super expensive counterweights. So there's a way to build, build a counterweight. You can build them as heavy as you want. Um, I've even built use this retention system for battery packs. So right here, I've got one on a battery pack. Same exact thing. I've got rubber bands holding it down. Um, but share this with a friend. If you got something out of it, please share. Hit that like button and subscribe. It helps us out. And then um, also, if you're looking for cable retention, same exact thing, the hook Velcro. 
I can use that for retaining my cables. So something to think about, but hope you guys got something out of it. Please hit up our training schedule. If you want to train with us, we'd love to train with you. Always invest in yourself. You're worth the investment. Be smart about what you buy. The economy is going to crap. So um, yeah, do more DIY stuff at home for things that you need on your gear. We'll see you guys on the next one.